So should we say hi to everyone? You want a chocolate chip already? Let's mix a little bit of the batter, then we'll do it. First, we say hi. Hello, everybody. Yeah, right. we're going to do that, but first we do the flour. Now? now? Yeah. Woo! Well, why don't you tell everyone what we're making first? Uh, okay. Chocolate chip what? Chocolate chip cookies. Cookies! We're going to make the chocolate chip cookies, but it's the recipe from the book. It's also in the blog. I'll put the link down below. But we're going to use white chocolate chips because Rosie wanted those. Uh, yeah, and then to make them... Put them right here. Put them right here? Yes, chef. But to make them pop, we're going to make the cookies dark chocolate by adding some cocoa powder. So let's get rocking and rolling on Friday morning here in South Florida. Rose Honey Bunny Ballerina, Daddy in the house, Leilani on the camera, Desi Snack and over in the corner. Welcome. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We had a great time yesterday. We were live on Facebook. What did we cook yesterday, those little balls? What were they called? Brookies? No! No, you silly dilly. You have a one-track mind for sweets. Mm -hmm. hmm. Mommy's, mommy's eating the leftovers. Remember those little balls made out of chickpeas? What were they called? Mm, fal falafel. Falafel. We made falafel with tabbouli, and it was delicious. We had a great time, but today we got to make sweets. We're going to make chocolate chip cookies. So leave a comment down below. Yeah. Let us know where you're watching from. Rose Honey and I are in uh, Boca Raton on a beautiful day. We got to throw some quick love over to Thrive Market, who has Rose's favorite Kiki milk now. Uh, I like chocolate. I like vanilla. I like chocolate. Rose likes chocolate, and Daddy likes vanilla. Mark that down in the record book. Thrive Market normally is a 25% off your first order with my promo link. It puts right there. Put it right there where? Right here. Right there. But the, the, this year, I don't know how long it's going to last. My promo link that, is for. That, 40 per, what's going on cook it's for 40 percent off your first order so i'll talk about it more in a few minutes but use my link down below get 40 percent off your first order and the free gift and try the kiki milk we'll crack it open a bit later but now we must cook okay what does the recipe say first we have to do rosie um almond flour. yes you are correct almond flour aka paleo flour how many cups do we need um, um five cups five cups how many chocolate chip cookies are we gonna make that sounds like a lot of cups we need a cup and a quarter. One, two, yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, yeah. What about mommy? Yeah. Yeah. So a cup and a quarter here, Rosie. Which one? Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. You're doing it. Here. People always, um, there you go, wonder. Hello, am I? Dusty's in the house with the rose honey videos for, ba for baking when she's measuring. Like how she does it. No more. No more. Well, when it's a precise no, thing no, like no, this, no. oh, it says a cup and a quarter. We need a quarter cup. <laughs> when something's precise like this, I'll pre-measure it and put it to the side, and then I let her do her own scooping, and then I'll Dad. do a little swap out. Because for baking, it's precise, right, babe? Dad, in, baking, in baking, we have to always measure exactly right? Yes. Exactly right. Well, speaking of like, measuring, here you go, Rose. Add this to the... Daddy? Daddy? A cup and a quarter. Rose made... You should show your biceps. This is getting ripped. Speaking of baking, Rose made this. I'm going to put the video out tomorrow. It's paleo sandwich bread. It's mommy's recipe. It's on the blog. Just Google search of Flav City paleo bread. Oh my God. Amazing. But during the video, we added a cup of cashew butter. And to make butter come out, I spray it with ghee oil or avocado oil. And I told Rose, hold it over the bowl and count to 10. It's going to fall right out. So she pulled it over and she goes, one, two, and then her finger got dirty. So she started walking away like this and it started coming out. And I reached and I caught a cup of cashew funny. butter in my hand. And I got the whole thing on video. So you'll see it tomorrow. It's, it's quite funny. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Want to grab a little one? Now we need one. baking soda. We need... You could have a little one, sure. One teaspoon of baking soda, Rosie. Those are the Lily's white chocolate chips. It's not perfectly Bobby approved, but there's no other alternative on the market. I wish somebody would make it. I think the only problem with this one is that it has yeah, natural flavor. Everything else is clean. Yeah. Those are the huge gems, but what you want to do is white chocolate. So here, a teaspoon of baking soda. 
Uh, that book has the dark chocolate. Those are the big gems. Here, Rose, add mm -hmm. a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Give me a big pinch of sal. Not, not, not that much. Not that much. <laughs> I said big pinch. Give me a small pinch. Small pinch. First of all, can we show Rose's beautiful nails here and, and her, uh, her designs of her sunflower on there? Show your nails to lay on her, Rose. Beautiful. Oh, Who painted their nails? Beautiful. Yeah, so sweet. Okay, now mix this up, Rosie, and set it aside. Give it a gentle mix, my sweet love. There's hairs all over this kitchen. No. <laughs> no. Just like your hair, her hair. <laughs> well, good thing Erica's not here because her hair was all over the place yesterday. Oh, yeah, people were all in a t tissy oh. about uh, Erica's hair yesterday when we were making the falafel. <laughs> okay, now. We need, oh, we want to add a cocoa powder to make them dark, oh, right? Yes. So, how many tablespoons? Two? Two tablespoons. Okay. Here, Rose, come get the cocoa from Dedo. I think, is she ducking because it's going to get her or something? Here, two tablespoons of cocoa. Where are you going? Where are you going, sis? Are you done? <laughs> Come, are you, get the are you taking shelter from something? I want to put down cocoa. Look at the cocoa. I want cocoa. Sometimes she takes shelter. She thinks she might get uh, oh. hit by something. Oh. Okay, okay. All right. We're back. The power went off. For there's going to there's going to be powering off for a few minutes. We're back. Uh, whatever you know, whatever you think is appropriate. Right, three, three tablespoons yeah. of cacao powder. Then, uh, then we go into the, the wet batter. Okay, who wants to crack the egg? Uh, no, we don't do eggs first. We do uh, butter and uh, sugar. Oh, yeah, butter. And sugar. <laughs> you gotta cream the sugar, really. Yes. You can, have a, yet, you, you can have a couple of chocolate chips. Here, let's oh. have a couple. All right, folks, we're making chocolate chip cookies, but we're making dark chocolate cookies with white chocolate chips. We're having a good time on a Friday with Rose Honey Bunny, snacking on white chocolate chips. We need one stick of butter. This is the Costco, 95%. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Why? Well, it's the best butter you can get at the store, pretty much. Mm -hmm. At Costco, at least. We'll put a stick of butter in there. And then coconut sugar. Who likes coconut sugar? Okay. Rose Honey does. We need, Rosie, uh, half a cup plus three tablespoons. So. Let's measure my sweet. Half a cup. Who's what? Who, what, where? Are you going to scoop the coconut sugar for Dado? I see you're eating. I see that, my sweet. I want to eat some. Coconut sugar? Yeah. Uh, you just had some chocolate chips. Put that in here, Rosie. The sugar. Good. Half a cup plus three tablespoons. Oh, I believe. We know you like your coconut sugar. You can try a little bit. And then we have to cream it together. I'll wait for yours. How many folks are watching right now? 470. Oh, it must have really dropped off after that power outage. Yikes. Mm -hmm. One. You can, um, let me see if the Wi Fi is back. Because it'd probably be better quality on Wi Fi. Yeah. Let me. Yeah, check on your phone, see if it's there. Yeah. It's good? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and do that and then put it back on airplane mode after you're gone to Wi-Fi. Okay. Good? <laughs> okay. We got 500 good. people. Okay. Okay. We're back. Coming back up. We had a technical glitch there. Don't you love how the power goes off right in the beginning of a live stream? <laughs> it's like... There's always something. It's always... Yesterday on Facebook, the audio didn't work for some reason. <laughs> Super weird. Yeah, people are saying the quality looks better too now. Okay, good. Yeah, I literally have one bar of signal here uh, in my neighborhood. It's absurd. Okay, we got to mix this up now, Rosie. Honey. Rose, honey is? Beat the sugar and the butter for one minute. Okay, here. All righty. I want to Yeah, go for it. Uh, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Are hanging out. That's a big one. It's got to go right there. You had it right. Right there. 
and push. Let me see how long. There we go. You did it. We got to plug it in now. We got to cream the sugar. Oh, I'll bring it closer to you. And the butter. Okay, push the button there. I can't. I think you can if you try hard enough. Oh, it's pretty high up for you here. Yeah, okay, good. So we have one stick of grass-fed butter and coconut sugar. And we have to... Mommy, I think she went upstairs to talk to the guys who are working on the wallpaper. Let's see how soft my butter was. That was pretty soft. Yeah, we're blending it up right now. Yeah, we got to be careful of our fingers, exactly. So we're going to cream this. We're going to add the eggs and the vanilla. Done? Done? We'll do a little more. And then we got to rest the batter a little bit. It's a pretty easy recipe, Rose. Recipe I put in the description box. It's below the Thrive Market link. I feel like I need a deeper bowl to do this properly. Yana! <laughs> Yana! You know, we actually have a... You know we are, sister. I actually have a stand mixer, but we never use. But I want to start using it because behind that drawer right there is a pop-up just for the stand mixer. Ooh, what's that? Blueberry panna cotta. I'm going to I'm going to transfer this to a... You want to make that tomorrow? Okay. This bowl's not deep enough to really cream this properly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me just get it started and then you can go to town, Rosanna. And then later on, we're going to make a really nice dinner. We're going to make shrimp cakes. And it's going to be part of another one of those videos where it's a family, um, family recipe. I went to Costco yesterday and I bought all the ingredients to make Juicy shrimp cakes with a homemade sweet chili sauce. What? Exactly. It's going to be super exciting, but Rosie and Mommy are going to help me cook it later on. And then I'll put that video out uh, tomorrow, actually. Oh, a little bit longer. See what's going on, Lenny? Check out what's going on here. And then Sunday, we're going to do a video that I'm filming uh, this afternoon called how to, how to Have a Non-Toxic Kitchen. And that'll be like pots, pans, Drinking water, detergent, soap, uh, storage containers, and stuff like that. And I bought yesterday, look, at, look behind you. I bought that at Costco. That is one of the more toxic dish soaps you can buy. First and foremost, how do they get it green with artificial coloring? But if you look at the ingredients in the back. Oh, we gotta, it's got to go long run, babe. It's all parabens, pegs and toxic ingredients. And that's true for dish soap, hand soap, and dish detergent. So if you look in my sink, those are the better for you soaps. That's Branch Basics, um, Ecos Free and Clear. Almost, almost, almost done, sweetie. I just gotta make sure this is cream. Look, Rosie, it's still grainy. I have to keep going. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, 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 yes. Okay, let me just get this out of the way. Tiny spoon? Yeah. For what? To eat it? But we got to make cookies. I'm going to get that branch basics. Branch is the best. And I usually have a, I have a promo code I share on stories. Tiny spoon. Tiny spoon. You're going to eat the butter and the sugar? Let's add a few more ingredients and then you can eat it. So here, hold on. Hold on, first, someone has to, hold on, we gotta add eggs. We gotta no. add the almond butter, vanilla, and then add an egg. So let's add the butter, Rose, the almond butter, which actually I'm gonna use peanut butter today. <laughs> we all saw that, Rose. Okay, that, that, that's good, Rose. That, that's good. I'll take that back to the batter. So let's do the tip that I showed Rose with the paleo bread the other day and hopefully it won't end up in my hand again. Rose, we need a third of a cup of creamy butter. Here, hold on. First, we got to get some butter in here. This is peanut butter. Put it in your hand. Yeah, I don't want to put it in my hand, like last time. 
I'll show you the tip that I did last time. So what I did, Leilani, is I went to my pantry here and I grabbed a Bobby Approved spray. I used ghee oil yesterday, but I have avocado oil today. Then, Rosie, you always spray over the sink here. Just spray the inside of the cup like that. That way you're not spraying schmutz everywhere. Then, Rosie, I pour, this is the Costco peanut butter. It works with almond butter, cashew butter is even better. You pour this in here, Rosie. Aren't we all happy that Costco got the peanut butter back? Why would they discontinue it in the first place? That was the worst move they can possibly ever do. Okay, so now hold it and then hold it over there. And look what happens. It all falls out very easily because of the oil. Now, the cashew butter was more clumpy and Rose started walking away and I put my hand out and it, luckily it all went in there. Okay, so that goes in. Oh, this is gonna be great flavor. It's gonna be like chocolatey, peanut buttery, and then white chocolate chips. All done! All done! We're on to something. All done! Done! Almost. Now, Rose, my sweet petite McGee. Oh, uh, yeah, before we blend up, we have to add vanilla. I brought it out already, I think. It's right here, sweetie. I got the big one. Now, I have a question, though. How, tiny one. Tiny one? Let's get Rose size. Okay, Rose size. Come here, Rose. Rose can get it. it Bottom shelf. I saw it. I saw it too. I saw it. Hmm. I saw it. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope, that's peppermint oil. Look over here. Look closer. Look oh, closer to your right there. I want to try. There it is. I saw this. I saw this. Yeah, that's maple sugar. Okay, let's bring that to the, the chef's tower. Open it. Yeah, how much are we putting in though? A little bit, exactly. Let's see what mommy's recipe calls for. It calls for a teaspoon. Daddy! Yes. You want I'll some help? Open it. Okay. One teaspoon. Luckily, there's like not much in it. G gentle. One teaspoon. Good. 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 Okay. <laughs> no, that wasn't the whole thing. Uh uh. It was not. Now, mommy's recipe says to beat and then add an egg. One. Yeah. These are the two Bobby approved chocolate chips from the book, really. Okay. Let's beat this up one more time, sister. Wait, this one. I, I put a tiny one. You, oh, it's dirty. Let daddy do it. You can, you can blend it up. <laughs> daddy put it on the wrong side. Wrong. Something good on the wrong pipe there, Leonor? Yep. <laughs> Don't know what it was. Well, it wasn't even eating anything. Bread. The bread? The paleo bread? Yeah, but I ate that a while ago. <laughs> Can I have that one for a second, Rose? Rose's paleo bread is delicious. Ah, oh, there we go. It really is. Oh, go for it, Mama. You're just drinking water right now, aren't you? That's all I'm drinking right now. Yeah. But I'll be making a refresco while this is uh, resting the batter. Rosie, when's your birthday? Yeah, it is. In June. Oh my gosh. Very good, Rose. <laughs> You're so good. <laughs> um, and what are you going to get for your birthday? What's that? Earrings. Earrings. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very good, Rose. Okay, done. What did you do for a sec? Can you get a spatula and scrape this down for me, Dessa, please? I want Rose, honey, do it. Well, Rose, honey, right now. I just want to hang in from the thing. Too. Oh, no, it's probably dirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, done. So, someone, has to, well, someone has to crack an egg first for Dad. Oh. Bravo. Well, that, that was actually... Uh, Rose was really rushing you there. Wash hands? Oh, oh, we got a shell in there, Rosie. We got a shell. Boom. Earrings. Earrings. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. It says to combine. Okay. I have to scrape that down one more time. We're done with this guy. Ooh, smells good already, Rose. I want to eat the food. 
You want to eat the spoon? Taste it. That's the best part, eating the spoon. Oh my goodness, I know already. Then. It's also why it has coconut sugar, right? I want to taste it. I want to taste it. And then we'll have the chocolate chips. Here you go. So we're going to add the dry team, which is the paleo flour mix, the raw cacao, a little bit of baking powder, and salt to this. <clears throat> this looks great. Come in here, Leigh Lounge. Oh, by the way, um, if you go to my Instagram or Facebook story before it expires, um, we're taking a family trip to Greece this um, October, including Leilani, and we're inviting 14 Flav City fans. Uh, the link is in that story. Check it out. Um, the whole thing came about because my friends who showed me around Athens this summer proposed this trip and they put together a culinary tour of Santorini and Athens. So if you want to join, they priced it at like $4,000 a person, but that includes everything except the airfare, which is actually very good for Santorini, which is not a cheap place. So go to, right? But go to my Instagram or Facebook story, or maybe if someone wants to share it in the link here, or I can share it during the break while it's resting. It's going to be a lot of fun. We only have room for 14 people and seven people already signed up already from yesterday. How's that looking, Mama? Oh, the color looks lovely. Yeah, it's perfect. Lovely. How is it, Rose? With it? Yeah. <laughs> Still good. Somebody asked when you're getting fridge panels, but that's... So, the whole panel thing is scrapped. And it all worked out for the better because this was a lemon fridge. It's never worked. It's been broken. But I messed up, okay? I bought a fridge and a freezer that were each 24 inches wide. But look, the fridge is too narrow. So because it's a lemon, I get to return it. And I'm getting one that's 30 inches wide and only 18 for the freezer. And instead of being custom panels, which we don't want, it's going to be the same color as my Heston oven because it's from Heston too. So yes, that'll come uh, late April. Let me open the phone here, my dear. Yeah, so late April would be lovely for that. Chocolate chips, my dear. Uh, you, let's see here. You guys, you can eyeball that one. Just okay, pour them in here. Yeah. All right, we're rocking and rolling here. We turn the batter dark cocoa instead of the regular one by adding a few tablespoons of cocoa powder, wherever that went. Rose is going to add the Lily's white chocolate chips. It's the only one on the market that's closest to being Bobby approved. It does have natural flavors, but there's no, um, no added sugar ones. And then we're going to rest that batter and bake it. And I think it's going to be great. Nice, Rosanna. All right. Oh, wow, this is going to be cool. Yeah, I think it's going to be super cool. Super a duper. All right, let's, uh, are we chilling this or? Yeah. No, no, we got to chill it. Let's, I think we need to transfer to a smaller bowl because I don't have room in the fridge for that big boy. Just put it in the freezer. Uh, do you think we should do that? Yeah. Let's do freezer for 15 minutes, maybe. Do you think it really hydrates properly, though? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll do freezer. What do you guys think? That's going to work? Flash freeze the cookies. I mean, the whole point is to like hydrate the dough and chill it. So I think the freezer will chill it. The question is, it's gonna hydrate, don't worry about will it give time to hydrate? Okay. Um, we have to cover it though in there. Let me just throw a plate on top maybe. You don't even have to cover uh, it. I don't know, I would just cover it. Here, throw some plastic wrap on top of there. I could probably fit in this one right here. Yeah. The freezer part. At least the freezer works. <laughs> the freezer part works. But, yeah, initially we, we thought the custom panels would look great, and then we're like, you know what? It's not practical. They're going to get... It was actually a big hassle to put the panels on. The guys, the guys get really hard. Oh, the guys couldn't even do it. Couldn't and, even do and it. Look, it. And then the, look. the refrigerator doesn't even work, so it's this point. Yeah, but even the panels, they would just get dinged. They get dinged up. They get dinged up. They would get tons of marks. I think the black... The black is going to be super cool. Slick. Yeah. This is my favorite, though. The Heston range is crazy nice. Okay, so we're at a break. Let's add 15 minutes for the deep freeze, and then we'll hang out. And have a good time. Uh, once again, 
check out Thrive Market now using my promo code. Probably many of you have uh, used Thrive Market, but for the few of you who haven't, my promo code currently is 40% off your first order and a free gift. It's a great time because for years, my promo code has been 20% off. I have my favorite Thrive Market stuff in the description box, so click on C. The coconut cereal is phenomenal. I have this for dessert, either this or seven sundaes. This is keto coconut cereal with amazing ingredients. That's not palm oil, it's just palm starch. And they are the exclusive retailer to this. This is Kiki milk. It's the cleanest dairy-free milk I've ever seen. Look at these ingredients. It's the only one that doesn't have any gums, oils, emulsifiers, but it's so rich and creamy, you think it would have that. And it has a little bit of aquaman here. It's got a touch of coconut sugar, but it's only four grams. And the oats are glyphosate free. They're unbelievable. This is the easy girlfriend. That's the greatest milk I've ever seen. Oh, we already had one earlier, Rose. We'll take a little break now. It's fantastic. And they're on Thrive Market. So use your 40% off your first, or if you're an existing membership member, try the Kiki milk. We had it this morning. It's unbelievable. And they're coming out with a big one soon and an unsweetened one, which will be great too. Okay, Rose. How many people are watching now, Leigh Launers? 840. Yeah, there we go. So we doubled since the outage. Mm -hmm. The great it's outage. Six cases of the nice. On Thrive Market? I love it. Nice. And they ordered more when they came out in stock. I, they, they've sold out multiple times since they launched in December. I've heard I might have had something to do with that. But people are trying it and freaking the freak out because it is the most delicious, clean, plant-based milk for kids or for adults. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Oh! Yeah, I can sell the Kiki milk alone or in like bulk of um, You could only buy it in packs anywhere. So it's a pack of like eight maybe, I think. Yeah, because they're only the small bottles. Yeah, only small bottles right now. But it's a pack of eight for, I think, is it eight? For $32, but with 40% off, uh, it's a must. Just try it. You're gonna love it. I'm telling you. What I do is I use it for my um, my milk for my cereal for dessert at night. Oh my god, it's crazy good. Somebody asked if you still approve of seed. Well, yeah, it's sitting on my counter, and I only take it every single day. In my opinion, it's the best probiotic on the market. My vitamin C, see you later, will be coming back in stock hopefully next month. But this is coming in a week and a half. The Flav City Protein Smoothie. That is not just grass-fed protein, it's a complete smoothie in here. I'll talk about it uh, in a few minutes. That's the most exciting thing, and subscribers of that will get the Bobby-approved shaker cup here. All you do is shake that with your milk of choice. You never, you want protein? We can make one, sure. You never have to use your blender again. It's very exciting. You want some protein? Well, that's got chocolate too, and now we're making chocolate cookies, so maybe, I think that might be a little too much chocolate, Rose. So, stop. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> the whole idea behind that was the fact that protein is the number one thing scanned with the Bobby approved app. So I thought, well, there are good proteins out there. Just Ingredients has one, Truvani has one, Laird has one, Four Sigmatic. But I took all the ingredients I make my post workout smoothie with your microphone and I powderized them. So it's the only one that I know about that is a complete smoothie with next level ingredients and you don't have to ever use your blender again. It's is it diabetic friendly? Uh, this one is borderline. This one has 14 grams of net carbs. I'm gonna have lower carb ones next. Um, if, it, if it's gonna be like a meal replacement, I'd say yes. If you're diabetic, I'd say it's on the borderline. I want some protein. Okay, let's make a protein for everyone. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Rose loves her protein because she's strong. So, hey Lenny, look at the ingredients right here, okay? Those are all the ingredients that I make my post-workout smoothie with. And I used to always show it on stories and people would be like, Bobby, there's a million ingredients in there. I, I can't get all those ones. And what's interesting is we used 100% grass-fed, cold-pressed whey protein. So it's not only the best protein you can get, but it's also fart-free. We're learning from people who are using it. They're not farting because the whey is not highly processed. And I'm actually lactose intolerant and so is Desi, and we're not having problems either. So here's what you do. You take any bottle you want, you fill up 12 ounces protein. 
12 ounces of milk or choice. This is the milk I use for smoothies because I'm not using something expensive like Kiki milk for that. This one here at least has no natural flavors, no sugar. Now we put protein. Look how big the serving is, you guys. It's gonna be about 20 servings for $50. What, you're, you're hiding? So look at this, Here's mine. Get a full scoop here. There we go, look at this. This is a full serving. You're not getting chinsed at all. Rose drops the, sh uh, the blender uh, whisk, which every order is gonna get a whisk ball. Even if you don't buy the shaker cup, we'll give you the whisk ball. You close it. And Rose Honey shakes it. <laughs> the cup will be coming for free if you get a subscription, or you can buy it, I think, for $15, and it's stainless steel. It's not plastic. I'm not doing, like, nanoparticles or plastic. Oh, let me shake it a little more. So you do Tom Cruise, right? Just for 20 seconds. Technically, you don't even need the whisk ball, but it does make it uber creamy, which is why every order is going to include a free whisk ball. So you can drop it in like Leilani's cup there, or if you have this cup, this uh, vessel right here. The whisk ball is like, honestly, I think like 30, 50 cents, but I'm, I'm not charging for it. I said 20 seconds. Ready? Go with it. Yeah, that might be that might be a bad idea. Yeah. Don't don't shake it in there. Exactly. So, you shake it. You get a glass, and you can you can open it. Yeah. We'll do it. Now, the goal is to get a a, a consistency like a a tiny, a tiny cup, like a premier protein, right? Which but which in my opinion is garbage. You tell me if you think this is like that. Ready, Rose? For Rose, honey. Ooh, mamacita, look at that. I'll just do your cup, Rose. Look at that. Smooth, rich, creamy. How is it, Rosie? 25 grams of protein. No? Is it good? <laughs> here's, the, think? here's the macros for everyone. Uh, 18 grams of total, four grams of fiber. The reason why it's 18 grams is we have um, banana powder in there, but you need the banana for the um, consistency, but we're coming out with keto versions that don't have banana powder and have macadamia nut powder instead. Will you be doing dairy free as well? Yep, we'll be doing dairy free too. It'll be like a vegan version, right? Exactly. Plant based, 100%. Mm -hmm. So raise your hand. I, this is my most exciting product so far because so many people take protein, but 97% of the ones on the market all have artificial flavors and Splenda or sucralose, which is horrible for your gut. And even the decent ones have GMO whey. This is grass-fed, 100% grass-fed. And then to have this on the go when you're traveling as a meal replacement, I mean, I think we just knocked it out of the park with this one. So give me a week. It'll be available on Shop Flav City. Uh, and I think you're, you're going to love it. Once again, it'll be about 20 servings for $50 which is on par with the Four Sigmatics and everyone else. The only difference is, in my opinion, you get extra ingredients to make it a smoothie. And listen, making the blender and cleaning it every time gets a little laborious. So I'm very excited for this. I hope you guys are too. Yeah, and it's safe for kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's safe for kids, exactly. The other ones, a lot have um, sugar alcohols. This has zero, and they have a lot of emulsifiers and gums. We talked about that with the Kiki milk. That doesn't have it either. This stuff is very bloating. So very excited about that. Any time ones and when different flavors will be available? Um, <clears throat> Erica sent out a schedule. Um, I don't know. I, I want to say the next flavor will be this summer. It'll be berries and cream. The keto flavors that we're working on are lights out. They are dreamsicle, orange dreamsicle, and keto funfetti cake batter with no natural flavors and no BS ingredients. So it's gluten-free too? 100% uh, oh, gluten-free, absolutely, yeah. Totally gluten-free. Um, the other flavors will be vanilla, um, chocolate mint, and pumpkin spice for the uh, holiday season. Like with real pumpkin powder, it's insane stuff. Like the stuff, I love the products we have so far, but the one coming out are just gangbusters. Is Viviana would say. Okay. Let me pull up my iPad so I can see y'all here. Where would that be? iPad. I'll grab it from my desk. I think it's over there. Yeah, there it is. So very exciting stuff.
Uh, no, I'll come back over by you. Okay. Okay. All righty. If you're just joining, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Super excited about the cake batter and the pumpkin Yeah. Spice. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Well, pumpkin spice is just like, you know, beloved by people, but cake batter to do it with no natural flavors. You know, we haven't nailed the recipe yet, but we'll get there. We're using ingredients like hazel, uh, macadamia nut powder, MCT oil plus coconut milk powder, um, cake batter flavoring, crazy stuff. Ricky Jack, $10 holler. I can't believe I caught you guys live. I love the family and your kitchen is amazing. Thank you, Ricky. Appreciate that. Please don't send any uh, super chats. They're very, very nice to you. Just share the link. Tell your friends about Flav City. Let's see here. Yeah, exactly. 250 per serving, Katie, is pretty in line with all the premium ones. It's not going to be as cheap as a premier protein at Costco, but have you seen the ingredients? Artificial flavors, carrageenan. Stuff is uh, blarf. Cynthia's in the house. Thank you for that, Cynthia. Yeah, if you can't do chocolate, you wait for that one. Indiana's in the house. Mm-hmm. Michigan's here. Jakarta's in the house. Thank you for that, Sarah. That's all we ask for. Share the love. When are the electrolytes coming out? Ah, uh, we're shooting for June. We have four flavors of electrolyte drink mixes that are crazy. All real, no natural flavors, organic fruit for some of them, and unrefined pink salt. We're the only ones on the market who are going to use unrefined salt, not iodized table salt, and real fruit, not natural flavors. And we're talking about flavors like strawberry lime, lychee raspberry, pina colada, and grape with organic grapes, organic strawberries, organic rat. Who does this? I do. That's who. All right, let me do a little cleanup here. Let's see if there's any. Keep the questions coming for now. Canada's in the house. Pittsburgh's in the house. But this protein, oh. Are the electrolyte drinks good for kids? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Totally safe. And it's sweetened with um, stevia and monk fruit. Zero sugar. I'm moving away from sugar alcohols completely. The only place I really need them is in my, um, my lemonades because it has this almost sourness that you need for the lemonade, but I'm moving away from it because I'm sensitive to erythritol, but I use so little in those that I have no problem, but I just want to move away from it in general. And will you be making um, some, some uh, protein smoothies without the banana? Um, yes. Yes, the keto ones will not have banana. Yes. Um, we're still working on shipping abroad. Uh, we're just we're having a really hard time with that, so stay tuned for that. And then, and I'm just wondering, should we should we be on Amazon? I don't know how that works. Like, if you're on Amazon, obviously, like they take a cut of the profits, but you're exposed to millions more people. Like, I don't know if it's like, is it better to be on Amazon and your own website or just your own website? I don't know. You know? I don't know. It's a question for Eric and Adam. Yeah, that's not me. I, I just think of the products and promote them. Michigan's in the house. Let's see what we got here. Do you monitor how much stevia and monk fruit rose has? Does it matter for young kids? So if it's pure stevia and monk fruit, I'm not as concerned. If it's a sugar alcohol, I am. That being said, she still has minimal, minimal amounts of stevia and monk fruit. I'd much rather her have paleo sweeteners. So I say for kids under seven, anytime I give them something with stevia or monk fruit, like my products, I give them a half a scoop. And uh, the protein powder has so little, but something like my hot chocolate or my lemonades, I give them half a scoop. And to be honest, there's so much flavor in there, you don't really need more. Follow up question to the Arif Rattan. Yes. Will the ingredients of lemonades be changing? No, I tried to do it with stevia and monk fruit, and it didn't work. The flavor was completely different. It's because just the erythritol, it has a, this cooling effect that normally I don't like, but for the lemonades, it's great. And listen, the erythritol is completely non-GMO, and there's not that much in there, but I really, I need it for the lemonade. And I've heard from people, including myself, who are sensitive to sugar alcohols. They don't really have a problem with that one because there's just a little bit in there. 
So yeah, I, I can't quite do that. That's on the mush overnight oatmeal. Everything is great, but they're not using organic oats, which means you could have an issue with glyphosate. That being said, it's not terrible. Not and, terrible. Um, is there any good soy milk? No. So even if there was a soy milk that was organic, that didn't have natural flavors, or too many gums or emulsifiers, soy is inflammatory, meaning it has a high amount of omega-6s to omega-3s. It's inflammatory. It's also uh, estrogenetic. You don't want it. You want to stay away from inflammatory foods like soy, so, uh, soybean oil, even sunflower and safflower oil. They're high omega-6s, high inflammation. High inflammation leads to high cholesterol, hypertension, other stuff like that. That's, in inflammation is the biggest issue uh, for our health today. And when people are pushing inflammatory oils to eat every day that are supposedly healthy, that's a huge problem. Side effects of sugar alcohol? Um, the side effect would be gastrointestinal. It'd be bloating. Mm -hmm. What's up, buttercup? Bloating diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those commercials. Side effects might be bloating, diarrhea, suicide, <laughs> thoughts of death. Um... <laughs> Wait a second, somebody is asking, is it okay to bake in silicone bakeware? Um, ideally not. Ideally not. That's why we, we, we don't use the silicone muffin tins. We don't use sill pats. You know what I use a sill pat for? To put my cutting board down on so it doesn't slide. That's the only thing I use it for. Um, no, I, I don't feel safe because I, I believe that the nanoparticles of silicone and other parts of the chemicals can leach into the food. So no. Um, like the only time I, I, I use it is when I'm making sous vide egg bites. They always stick to my other stuff. Um, but that being said, I'll bet I'm working on a non-toxic bakeware set made of ceramic and I'll bet they wouldn't um, stick to that. But first I have to come out with my Flay City kitchen box before I move on to the bakeware. First things first. Let's do a little Dyson break here. So if you have cashew allergies, what other nut, bread, uh, nut butter can you use for the bread? Uh, almond butter. Yeah. The recipe actually calls for almond butter, but we use cashew butter we found because it's even better. BRB. I'm going to grab the Dyson. Here, come over here, Leilani. Let's show uh, in case people haven't seen. Here's our dream pantry. You may have seen the videos. We just put this up yesterday. Finally, there's a, a place to hang the Dyson. But this space was just a pantry that ended here. And then Erica, who lives down the street, she blew this wall out. And if you see how much more space is here, you almost double your pantry. Not only there, but you come down to Rose's Nook here and you get all of this space here too. Now, we had our good friend Danielle, who's an organizational expert, come here and she organized everything. All these baskets are from Container Store. I think they're the Marie Kondo line. But we organized everything by uh, category, basically. It's called the Flav City Market, and we're having someone from Etsy make a sign that says Flav City Market right there. So I have oils and sauces here. This is pretty much all my Flav City products here. And then sweeteners like honey here, a dedicated bone broth drawer there. Uh, snacks, these are all snacks here. All keto wine right here from Dry Farm. And then you know, baking, the baking corner is down here. I mean, I wish this was more wide, but Rosie's, Rosie's Kiki, Kiki milk stash here. I just ordered uh, two cases because it just came back in stock. So I just got two cases arriving uh, two days ago. Yeah, it was full early. It was, it's going, it's going down really quick. I'm gonna have to use my promo code to get some. <laughs> so that's what's going on here. And then this is exciting here. So. Our Brazilian woodmaker in Deerfield Beach, if you live in South Florida and you want someone to make custom cabinets, call Ruben at RT22 in Deerfield Beach. This used to be one big dining room here. And we don't really use dining rooms that often, but what Desi had a great idea is we built this wall here. They just installed these sliding doors yesterday here. And this is gonna be the permanent photography studio back here that's completely blacked out with LED lights so we can take food photos anytime we want. And this will be the dining room, which uh, is still plenty big, but we didn't want this big room to be wasted. So we have a permanent uh, photography studio, not yet, but pretty soon, which is very exciting. And then 
This is our living room here. Desi designed everything. Uh, same Brazilians built that entertainment center there, which we love. And look, Desi, you look so nice. Uh, just chilling on the couch there working. This all arrived uh, this week. This is uh, from our house, right? Yeah, all, I, not, I didn't know the name of it. Yeah, it's all from our house. And then they built me, just this week, my office. So this is a custom office here. It's almost completely done. And they built me this standing desk here that swings out for Leilani to sit here <laughs> so we can work together. This is just an Amazon standing desk. I never sit down, but they built this from scratch here. And I have floating shelves there. And uh, things are coming along. Very nice. And we have the sitting room right here, which Jesse designed everything. This, all this literally came this week. And uh, it's very exciting. And then obviously the kitchen. So it's coming along. Our master bath is still under construction and everything, but it's coming along and we love it. It's very, very grateful for the home. Very thankful that we have it and we just love it. All right. And then I can show you a little bit of a kitchen because we just organized the whole kitchen with Danielle. I'm sure you guys saw that on stories. So the previous kitchens weren't necessarily organized very well and I have so much stuff in my kitchen that it needs to have a proper home and we're not quite done yet. But for example, Okay, laid out in a way that I can easily get to it. Everything has its home, but I'm always here. And I noticed before I kept opening this and Rose would be next to me. And these were the, uh, where the um, forks and knives and everything was. So we had to move them. So we found a new home for them here. Rose's knives, all the flatware, all that good stuff. Spices used to be jumbled in there. This is probably the coolest part of the kitchen organization wise. Yeah, I got these spice shelves on Amazon here. We cut them to fit, and then she put all the spices in labeled ones, which I had before, but these are just new. And then if you're a home edit fan, you know something called backstop, which is extra of your favorite stuff. Well, I use stuff like smoked paprika all the time. So I have backstop of that. I have backstop of uh, regular paprika. And then this is just overflow here, but just really nice. But we're not done yet. So like, we didn't know what we wanted to do with this one here. But what we're going to do is build uh, a piece of wood that comes across and then down and it'll be six slots for my pans just to slide in because currently I'm doing this and this is still just a temporary solution, but I hate stacking like this. So our, um, our KitchenAid, it swings out on this, which is super exciting. So boom, your KitchenAid, you work with it, you plug it in, you put it back. So we were actually going to get rid of this initially, but we have room for it. So. That's pretty cool. And I have actually, I have the coolest KitchenAid. It's a limited edition matte black one that I never use, but once it's here, I'll use more of it. Um, this was originally gonna be extra garbage here, but I don't want it. So we're gonna turn this into more slide out storage because I have a garbage there already. And then we have two dishwashers. I knew I wanted this for years just because I use so much dishes and I make everything so dirty that we needed the two. And then this, the four foot sink, which I can't stop talking about from a company called The Galley. It's a game changer because I just throw all the dirty stuff in there throughout the day. I soak it and it's out of the way and it's ready to be pre-cleaned to go into the dishwasher or scrub by hand. So, And then we have the, the spaceship. This is the hood, custom built. And then the range, which is from a California company called Heston which is so nice. It has the griddle, the five burners, the one and a half ovens, and uh, it's super, super nice. So this is my kitchen and those are my toys. <laughs> Time to make a lemonade. Oh, I think those cookies are frozen. Oh, I gotta preheat the oven. Let's see how this dough is doing. Take a look. Oh. It's actually feeling really good. I'm going to put it back in while the oven preheats. Oh. If somebody asks if their family disagrees with the choice of Bobby and Fruit Foods because the high carbs like seven Sunday cereal, any suggestions on how I should respond? Okay, so there's multiple cereals 
I recommend. That is a higher carb paleo one, but hello, read the macros on this one. This is my, this is my favorite cereal, you can argue. That's a one. So there's a, there's a couple of things to think of. Show me. What do we got? What is that? Oh, oh it's so pretty. That is so pretty. So listen, sometimes I talk about what to eat on a keto diabetic diet, and other times I just talk about what to eat for clean eating. Seven Sundays is high in carbs because it's paleo. It has cassava flour. I'm not saying that if you're keto, you should eat that. I'm not, I'm not a keto guy. It has one of the cleanest ingredients for cereal. But if you're keto, I can give you a million other recommendations, and I do also. I generally just look at ingredients. Is it best in class ingredients? But go on YouTube and search Flav City Diabetic, Flav City Keto. I'll give you keto best in class uh, ingredients too. I'm baking this at 350. Perfect. Okay, one more shout out here. Speaking of keto, so in the description box, sometimes you gotta click on mobile on this arrow, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby Live. That link gets you 40% off your first order. Here's the recipe. But for example, here's some of my Thrive Market favorites. The paleo flour is not low carb. It's grain-free paleo. Uh, what else is here? The cereal is on there too. Not everything is keto. The keto granola is. Then I have my supplements on there too. My favorite ghee from Fourth and Heart, which is the ultimate keto fat because it's a grass-fed, pasture-raised fat, and kiki milk and stuff like that. All my recommendations are best-in-class ingredients. Then after that, they can be broken down into uh, paleo, keto, gluten-free, whatnot. Tex is in the house. Oh, here, let me show that box again. Super asking about it. How to get? The coconut police. Yeah, get those on, on Thrive Market. They're unbelievable. It tastes like crispy coconut meat, and when you pour over the regular kiki milk, oh, it's like the best late night dessert when you're on the couch watching a little something something, which we need help. I asked for shows yesterday on Instagram. We got some decent ones, but we're out of shows to watch. We just finished Maisel, and which was a great, great season, right? When it was over, I, I didn't realize it. I'm like, that was it? Because like, it was kind of like, I didn't know like, well, you know, the cliff, there was no cliffhanger per se. It was like, it's just like her personal like dilemma of like, what do I do? I don't know if I watched the last episode. Oh, really? Uh, so don't tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't tell honestly, me. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even give it away. There was nothing like, uh, but it's really good. The show is so good. You actually feel like you're watching the 1960s. Like, it's so crazy how they do that. I think the coconut flakes would actually also taste good with chocolate baking milk. I'm sure it would. We can, we can try. <laughs> we can certainly try. Somebody said, check out Who Killed Sarah on Netflix. Super cliffhanger. Oh, really? Um, they were rewatch. Someone else was rewatching Prison Break. Yeah, I can't rewatch. Um, you know, I'm watching. Um, Desi won't watch it. But Boba Fett is really good. Oh, I haven't watched that yet. Oh, it's I really was good. For, like the whole season. Uh, it, it should be out now. Yeah. The whole season. It's really good. Yeah. I don't even like Star Wars, but I love Mandalorian and Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. Somebody is waiting for your glucose monitor results video with bated breath. Yeah, it's taken me a long time to make that. I probably have to do the whole thing again because I was back in the other house in December. Pieces of Her is another Netflix show. Hmm. Thank you for that. Somebody's asking about your water. We can't fix it? Oh, my water? So my water is... I can't fix it. Here, let me see. Oh, I broke? Oh, it's like Play-Doh. It's okay. You just kind of, you just kind of smush it together like that. See? And then you just, there you go. It's reverse osmosis, but alkaline. So three-stage reverse osmosis, and this is the alkaline filter. Let me see. So that ain't pH alkaline. There you go, sis. If you live in Huntington Beach, it's a great company called The Better Water Company. Call them. Uh, ask for the owner, Avi. He'll come out to your house anywhere around LA. Really good. It's a really good, it's $900. It's a great, great deal. 
Another recommendation for a show on Prime is Upload. I've actually watched that. I kind of like it. We didn't like it. We tried to no. watch it. Yeah. Okay. But what wasn't a huge fan? Well, I'm a fan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wow, nobody has dishwashers around you. Old school, Baba Dani style. Somebody's asking for a beauty product. Yeah, you know, it's an interesting one. And on that note, uh, this afternoon, we're going to film a video called How to Have a Non-Toxic Kitchen. And I bought this dish soap yesterday at Costco. Like, this is some of the most popular but toxic soaps. I'm going to talk about toxic hand soap, dish soap, dishwashing detergent, uh, water, nonstick versus um, ceramic. I'm gonna talk about plastic containers versus glass to how to, how to have a non-toxic kitchen, basically. This stuff is horrible. Um, beauty is even less regulated than the food industry. And it is so dirty and so scary. Even so, the so-called clean lines are not clean. I could name a few really good lines off of my, top of my head, and not for makeup, just for like personal care. Uh, Coco Kind, Puracy, Ursa Major. What's that other one I use for the face wash sometimes? Uh, uh, Pure Haven. Those are good ones. But they're a little more expensive. Really good stuff. It is. It is. It is. But it's worth it. Yeah, I think it is. It's your skin you're talking about. Yeah. Why do you have so much palm olive? Because I was at Costco and I needed it for my video. Hmm. Oh, the whole house water filter. Yeah, I can't show you it outside now. It's amazing. Our water is so soft. My skin feels like there's moisture on there all the time. And because it has the water softener, it gets rid of the harsh minerals that do leave residue on your shower door or on your appliances. The whole house system, which was about $5,000, is amazing. Amazing. Baba is coming on April 11th, Viviana. One room left in the main villa. Some, someone just texted. Are you serious? Yeah. Someone left a message? Uh, yeah. Oh my God, you hear that, Ben? No, I mean, it's, um, it, was a, it was a text message. Oh, really? Oh, like I just texted, there's one room left. Oh wow. my God. That's crazy. Well, we might have to open up. She said maybe we can add on additional people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, the story's going to expire probably in an hour. We're doing a Flav City culinary tour to Greece, to Santorini. And it's almost sold out. Uh, it's going to be all of us, uh, me, Desi, Rose, and Leilani, in October. Show me. What is that? A perfect circle with the Play-Doh? That's my girl. <laughs> oh, I don't know the link. Um, but I'll share it again. Well, let me see. There's one left. Um, just go to my Flav City Instagram or uh, Facebook story. Um, we're starting six nights in Santorini and then two or three nights in Athens. And it's a culinary tour. It's going to be amazing. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. I got to buy our tickets. What kind of water filter do you have at the kitchen sink? Oh, I showed it. So that's the alkaline for drinking. And the whole house is just for bathing and using for um, dishes and stuff like that. Uh, Crystal, what milk would you suggest if I can't get Kiki milk? How do you feel about oat milk? So Kiki milk is only available online right now. I can get it on Thrive Market or I gave actually a promo code on my stories today. If you want to buy one in store, um, as the cleanest one, you would get Three Trees, New Barn, Elmhurst, or Mulk. Those are the cleanest ones at the store. But then for smoothies, I'm not using the top shelf ones because it gets expensive. I buy the Whole Foods organic, unsweetened, plain, Almond milk. This is a great deal in my opinion. No natural flavors, no um, sugar. So I use this for my smoothies. That's it. When it comes to cereal, then I would use the milk or the uh, kiki milk, like I said. Or when I make uh, hot chocolate, I use that too. Because I just don't want the premium ones to like burn down too quick. SoCal77 lost 30 pounds by listening to Bobby. Love to hear that. Thank you so much. Listen, I don't preach a diet plan. I'm not telling you count carbs, calories, points. I'm telling you pay attention to exactly the ingredients you put in your body and then good things will happen. Um, thank you for that, Joan. Did I grow up 
really patient. You know where I got that from? My, my dad. My dad is extremely patient, so I got that from him. Wait, let's scoop some cookies. Mm -hmm. Want to help me, Des? Uh, you scoop. I, I'll do them, but I, I do them like the big balls. No, you gotta roll. roll them by hand? Yeah. I need your help for that, I think. Desi's the baker. Desi's, I... Oh, you scoop them out and roll. Okay, I'll scoop. Scoop and roll. We'll do... Want to do the whole batter or just part of it? So, talking about a non-toxic kitchen, say hello to ceramic sheet trays versus aluminum. I used to use aluminum not a lot, and now I only use it if I'm not cooking, just like to transport stuff to the uh, grill. This is made of aluminum. If you put food directly on here, it's my belief and many others that chemicals and some of the aluminum will leach into the food. This is ceramic. It's completely non-toxic. It's made from sand. It's non-stick also, but naturally. The ceramic is basically sand. I love this. It doesn't quite conduct the same amount of heat as this, but I prefer it. So I'll put a... Uh, a non-toxic parchment paper down. When you get parchment paper, you want to get non-bleached. Oh, I have those ones. Yeah, these are great. If you care, they sell them at Whole Foods. It's a couple extra bucks, but you don't want the bleached ones. Even the non-bleached ones from like the big boys can have some other stuff added to it also. The only thing about this pan, it's, it's made by the company who's helping me make my cookware, Tramontina, is that it's Italian or European size, so it's not the same size we use. I'm gonna try to make an American size one to come out in my bakeware set, so stay tuned for that. Let me get my cookie scooper, which I think we were using yesterday for the falafel ball. I'll spray it with my non-toxic soap. I know it sounds kind of weird, and you might be like, oh, no, that's a, that's a gimmick, non-toxic, it's, it's not. The stuff they put in household cleansers and soaps and shampoo literally is toxic, has skin irritants, has uh, allergens, has volatile organic chemicals, something called endocrine disruptors, and that crap is in your house every day. Just making those swaps, the biggest thing you can do. Okay, so, oh, this feels really good. I'm gonna scoopy for Desi. If it was me, I'd pretty much just leave it like that. That's a horrible one. I can do better than that. <laughs> Jeez. Redo. Redo. There we go. I would leave it like that, but Desi will roll them. Rolling with your homies. I think the white chocolate is going to be lovely. It's like double chocolate. Yeah, right? Well, you know, technically white chocolate is not even chocolate at all. What you got now? Uh, a oh, it's a tiny ball. It's so cute. Wow. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> That's so cute, Rosalana. Wow, Rosalina, tiny ball. <laughs> Let me do a story with your phone, Lerlani. Thank you. Why does it do that? I don't know. It's so annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's show what's going on here. All right, the dough has chilled for about a half an hour. We're scooping balls here, and we're preheating to 350 degrees, not 360. I gotta lower that. And then we're gonna bake them off. I think they're gonna be great. The combination of the cocoa powder with the white chocolate chips is gonna be quite lovely. What do you think, Leilani? I think they're gonna be amazing, I can't wait. Perfect. Okay. Alrighty. Mm, keep going here. What about silicone bake mats? Nope. I talked about them earlier. I wouldn't use them either. I mean, you're putting the silicone in really hot ovens. You can't tell me that some of the chemicals in there do not leach into the food. I just do not believe that. What's the name of the non-toxic dish soap? Uh, for dish... I use, um, well, I use Branch Basics 
for a lot of stuff, but for Dish, I use Ecos Free and Clear, and I actually buy it on Thrive Market. For Dish, uh, for laundry detergent, I use um, Planet. It's called Planet, but Ecos is pretty good too. But for the hand soap and the all-purpose spray, I use Branch Basics. And for OxyClean, I use Branch Basics. It's cool. It, kinda, it comes online. It comes in one big bottle of concentrate. I talk about it on stories a lot. It's just great stuff, and it works. I mean, obviously, it would suck to use something that's non-toxic and it does not work, but this actually works. So the fact that it's non-toxic and works as well as the toxic stuff, why wouldn't you do that? I think I need to do the switch. You are? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Do it. Do it. I'll get you a, a starter pack of uh, Branch Basics. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it. It's the biggest thing you can do in your house because you're using that stuff every single day. Cooking oils and whatnot, not nearly as pervasive as toxic stuff in your house. When I see TV ads for Febreze, they're like, oh, my son is so messy. Psss. Like I cringe. Like that is literally toxic chemicals going everywhere. I'm like, oh man, that's so great. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't think so, man. You're calling me out, Bobby. Ah, are you going to Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one that's, uh, you're the one I'm calling out. That's hilarious. I mean, I also use those, because uh, it's easy. It's convenient, okay? Um, but it's like um, those uh, wipes that you just like pull out and you wipe down. And the counters? Like the, puzzle, like the counter, counter wipes. Like the, like the Clorox wipes or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are bad too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Please consider making an unsweetened protein powder. So for those of us who add it to our veg fruit proteins, well, it's meant to be a whole smoothie. So it's always going to be sweetened with a touch of monk fruit and stevia, but it's not really cloyingly sweet at all. How many people have downloaded the Bobby approved app? Uh, 400,000 so far. Amazing. It's been a, a smash hit. Uh, let's see, air fresheners, no. There might be a couple that use pure essential oils, but I don't know about them. Let's see, a parchment paper. Yeah, I showed it, here. Show that one again. It's on Amazon, but to be honest, it's cheaper at Whole Foods. It's if you care. It's not only unbleached, but you can see it's completely toxic free. You don't want the toxins in there. It's, it's just bad, bad news. All right, Desi, you can roll them. Yeah, it's neurotoxins. Say again? She might. But I think she's playing right now, and then it, she might just smash him like the falafels, you know? So wait, let's just get him in there. She'll, she'll be here when they come out of the oven. She'll exactly. Smell she'll smell them. Yes. Here's, uh, the baking sheets are from Tramantina, same company who makes my, uh, my cookware. Can you use a branch basics to clean windows, too? Yeah. They have a, a bottle for windows. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll show you. Come down here, Leilani. So, this is our non-toxic cleanser area here. So when you order brand, it says bathroom here. We just make it for our floor. This one is the all-purpose. I spray this like crazy in the kitchen. Uh, we use their dish tabs. But to be honest, Thrive Market has an amazing dish tab too. Uh, this is what I was talking about. This is the, the Boost. This is their version of Oxy Boost, but it's very, very clean. This works not only for clothes. You put that on stains on your countertop, and it gets it out. And this is the free and clear that I get on Thrive Market for dish soap. This is Scrub Daddy Power Paste for getting stuff off of my griddle. 100% non-toxic. So, I mean, that's really it. You know? And I use that stuff all, all the time. Oh, look at Desi. She's rolling. Yeah, why not? More chips, more better. If you want them to look like in the cookbook. Yeah, okay. Someone's asking about diamond salt. No. Diamond salt, in my opinion, is just like Morton's. It's a bleach processed refined salt that you really want to avoid. How many chips? Like two or three? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Better hurry up before Rosie says. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's going to eat dough. Are there uh -oh. any vegan cheeses with no natural flavors? No, the there's not one. Uh, not one at the supermarket that I've seen. Uh oh. Rosie's going to. Hurry. 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 Yeah, somebody else is saying they use the Clorox wipes. I'm not the only one. No, of course not. 
Um, I'm trying to think who, the brand who makes the non-toxic one. Yeah, because they're convenient. Yeah, they, they are convenient, yeah. But if there's a non-toxic one, there I would is. love to know. I think I actually have it. One second. We bake these for 13 minutes. Okay, let me set a timer. Let me see. Rosie is doing what kids do. Playing. She's playing. I thought maybe we moved it somewhere else, the wipes. Seventh generation wipes? No, those aren't those aren't bad. Those are those are acceptable. The seventh generation. They're not bad, but it's another one. I actually think I got it on Thrive Market. It must be upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kat is watching from France. Bonjour, mon ami. I need non-taxic candles. Candles are really, really tough. Yeah. I don't use candles. I never like candles, so I don't know. I'm sure somebody makes them, but the fragrances in candles are Sick. Oh my God. Yeah. Brutal. I'll give you a fridge tour once it's set up because it's broken. So half of my stuff is in Rose's fridge there and the other half is in my outside fridge that I bought in an emergency because this was broken for like $300 at some uh, shop. <laughs> Honest Company? Uh, Honest by Jessica Alba is okay. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not great, but it, it's passable. It's passable. Yeah, I use um, Celtic sea salt and Himalayan salt. Malden salt is great too. There is a natural hand sanitizer. What is it called? Uh, oh God, is it like everyone I think it's called? Let me see. Do I have it? I wonder where all this stuff went. You've organized yourself. <laughs> yeah, it, it, look, it's, it's extremely organized here. Mm -hmm. That, that. I got my diabetes monitor for my video here, but I don't have the oil. Uh, I don't know where it is. I do not know. What time we got? All right, it's noon. Noon on the dot. Let's do a couple more questions, and we're gonna we're gonna bounce. What about essential? I don't know what that one is. Any makeup company that is clean? Hmm. I don't know. It's a very good question. I know the majority of them are not clean. Hello Bello wipes for babies. You know what's the best wipes that I've seen for babies is um, wa water wipes. Because the other ones have a couple preservatives in there like potassium sorbate or benzoate. And <clears throat> the best one I'd say is water wipes. Yeah, if you want to buy a dish soap at the store, just get this one here. They have this. Get the um, Ecos, but get the free and clear one. And don't get the one that has a fragrance. You always want to enjoy fragr uh, avoid fragrances when you can because there's really nothing natural about them. Um, we just did a little uh, video on kombucha on Reels. And uh, check out Flav City on TikTok now. We're back. We're better than ever. We're doing one-minute quick hitters there that are getting huge, huge viewerships. And we made a video called Is Kombucha Good? And technically, yeah, it is good. It's not a probiotic. It's a bacteria-rich drink that is great for your tummy. I would only drink half of it a day. I'd make sure it's on the lower sugar end. GTs and Health Aid make one. And stay away from like a brand like Kavita, in my opinion, because it has natural flavor. So get any Health Aid or GTs one. GT makes a root beer that is so good. He actually wants to send me some, the guy GT. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. The root beer is amazing. Mm -hmm. Keto cups are phenomenal. The ones at Whole Foods. The one at Costco, I think, have palm oil. Do you have pet foods in your Bobby Proof bag? Um, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of pet foods actually is not Bobby approved. It's pretty scary what they put in there. Yeah. Uh, will you ship to Air Force? And uh, you know what? Email. Email uh, hello at shopflavecity.com. Hello at shopflavecity.com. And ask them. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah. I think the Bobby Approved app will come to Europe. It'll have to be an English speaking country. So like the UK would be, you guys spell things a little differently, like flavor is with a U. So we'll have to adjust a couple things, but I think for the most part we can do it. 
No, keto cups have no sugar in them. They have, um, the ones that I like have a touch of monk fruit. That's it. Yeah, so Rayo's doesn't have extra virgin. It has regular. I wouldn't call it highly processed. It's just one step more processed. Extra virgin is cold press. And then you have one, you have one application of heat to take it to a regular olive oil. So I wouldn't call it highly processed. It's just I prefer it was extra virgin olive oil. But it's still great. Nutritional yeast, if you're vegan, yay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, basically uh, synthetic vitamins and yeast. Totally fine. Oh, coconut cult is amazing. Just very expensive. I don't know what Blue Land is, Ivana. Huh. They would tell us that we spell things funny in America. Very, very good point. Hmm. Um, no, Sherry, I'm not going to do an unflavored protein because it's meant to be a smoothie, not just a protein powder. Um, the whole gist is that you toss it into a cup and shake it, and that's your protein smoothie that is completely flavored, seasoned, has all the ingredients to make it rich and creamy. I should do a video about my favorite toy the trees. Thank you for that, Pauline. I appreciate that. What vitamins does almonds have? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know what they're rich in necessarily. Uh, I do know it's ideal if you can to have sprouted almonds to get rid of the anti-nutrients, but I'm not sure. Dirty dozen clean 15 eggs. A new one. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to make a reel on Instagram, Facebook, and a TikTok video for that. And a short. Mama Ali is coming in May. Stay tuned for that, my friends. Okay, it's 12.05. These are almost done. I got to make lunch for Rosanna. Uh, let's call it quits here. We had a great time hanging out. Let's give one more shout out to Thrive Market. If you're watching on mobile, there's always this arrow right here. They make it hard to see. Click on the arrow. That's my promo link, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby Live. Thrivemarket.com slash Bobby Live. The recipe is right here. All my favorite Thrive Markets are here, like the cereal, like the Kiki milk, like the best ghee you can buy. And it's 40% off your first order right now, which is an amazing deal. You get a free gift, which is a $54 value, and it's 30 days risk-free. So not everyone lives close to a grocery store. I would try it. If for some reason you don't love it, you could always cancel but it's a great deal. It's a great supporter of the channel, which I really appreciate, and they have great stuff. Um, but that is it. We'll be back soon, I'm uh, assuming. Tomorrow on YouTube, we're doing Costco Family Meals. We're making, uh, actually, we're filming the video tonight. We're going to do crispy shrimp cakes with homemade sweet chili sauce and salad. And then coming on Sunday is how to have a non- toxic kitchen. And this is the most toxic dish soap or hand soap you can get. Uh, so that is it. Uh, stay tuned for the Flav City protein smoothie coming very, very soon. Immune tea will be back in stock soon. Uh, vitamin C will be back in stock soon. All that grand stuff. But uh, from my happy place, the kitchen, I, Leilani, Desi, Rose, we all leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, y'all. I'm gonna spray my throat.